What's up some fans around the world and welcome back to another video. Today me and Philip are going to detail the car, make it look nice and we're gonna go around the car, show you what it's all about, show some of the flaws of the car since the car is 62 years old. Uh, it's not in mint condition and uh, in my opinion I don't think it should be either but there are some small things that we need to check out and fix. So enjoy the video! Oh. So to start off by showing the inside, this instrument panel is so epic. And since this is a 1960s model, you don't have a solenoid for the ignition, so you start the car by turning ignition on and then you drag this lever here to start the car. And we have some minor things to fix, like there are some old cables here, I think they were from like a radio. And there are some other cables that are detached that we need to sort out. But otherwise, I do not know too much about this car. I know that you need to pull the choke out before you start the car. Otherwise, it's not so much to do, but you can see. Since it's 62 years old, you can see there are some wear and tear here and there. But overall, it's in really good condition, I would say. So we need to vacuum the car to get some things out and this floor mat is so brittle but the floor on this car is really nice which is one of the most common things. They rust and you get big holes. But otherwise it's really nice. Some cracks in the steering wheel but this is pretty solid so I think we could get this up a few notches by just cleaning it out. Vad säger du Filip? Tror du att den blir fin? Mhm. Den kommer bli jättefin när vi är klara va? Ja. Bästa saben. Mhm. So we're gonna start with vacuum the floor to get all of this dirt and debris out. Then we're gonna go over with some APC to wipe everything off, then we are going to move on to the outside of the car. Now we're gonna start and go over with the APC interior cleaner. This is the new fragrance, green apple. So we're just gonna spray down 
one seat at a time. And Philip is going to brush it. you can see my son did a fantastic job on the interior looks really nice back seat and everything and the floor mat came out really good with just wiping off and using the all round brush together with some APC really fresh so now we're going to continue with the outside of the car and it has some scratches to it but this paint is very forgiving so it doesn't show too much but this paint is a single stage paint so it's very sensitive to like chemicals and stuff like that and when I got the car home it had a lot of dirt and debris everywhere so I took it out and I washed it with some degreaser and everything like iron fallout and the whole whole package and I let it sit for a little while so you can't see it really good on camera but it is these strokes along the paint so this we are going to buff off and we are going to apply a nice coat of wax and a little bit of ceramic quick coat to protect the car and make it easier to maintain in the future. It really has to get the angle but I think the car has been buffed some time but not very much and one of the flaws on this car is as you can see here it has been painted I think they have painted the lower part just 
So the front fender and the lower part is the same color. The rear panel has been resprayed and is a different color than than the door and the front fender. So I think the roof and the trunk and everything has the right color. So I think the front fender has been resprayed and this lower part right here and this I know for sure the previous owner told me that both of the rear panels was hand painted when he got them so he resprayed them with the correct color that he thought he had gotten but this was not the case So as you can see, just these strokes along the side and the, this makes the, the paint look a little bit dull. So I'm just going to use like a heavy cut compound together with a heavy polish pad and just do a single stage all over the car and then apply the wax and everything so it will withstand a little bit of bad weather from now on it will probably not be, be seeing so much rain it will be standing in the garage most of the time but when I'm fixing with other cars this car needs to leave the garage for a little while so it's it's nice if the rain and everything just pearls off the paint so that's what we are going to do right now but as I said before and time after time I just love all of the details and the look of this car like for example these details right here so amazing and the mud flaps in the rear is probably my favorite of all just so epic so let's do a quick buff off
done with the polishing and as you can see the pad eats up the color or the paint of the car even the microfiber towel has got a little different color to it but damn it's a completely different car from where when we started so much more like shine and depth to the paint even though it's just a one stage paint as I said before and when I, what I did immediately when I, I was done I took the Tear Shine Vision Plus which is the glass cleaner and took all the windows because they were looking like a little bit dull before a lot of dirt on the inside and the outside now they are so shiny they are like glass should be so now you can see through the windows really really nice really clear so now we're just gonna add some protection to this it looks really nice as it is right now it probably could use like one more step of a polish or actually if we should go really really hardcore we should do this in a three step polish and do like the heavy cut because there are some scratches to the paint but as I said before about the pad it removes some of the paint so I need to fix this sort this side out and the rear panel because this is not so nice this is probably the most disturbing part about the car that it has different colors and the fix that has been done right here I'm not a huge fan of that otherwise the car is looking pretty good I would say so now we're gonna start to apply the wax and we will enhance the gloss even more than it is right now and then end it off with the ceramic coating and I think this car will look pretty stunning even though it has minor flaws so here we're going to use the tear shine magnify wax and I think we will just apply it over, over the whole car because it's a pretty small car and it's pretty cold in the garage right now 4.8 celsius so not very high heat in here so we're just gonna apply it then wipe it off and it's going to look stunning <laughs> So this is the result with the one step polish and the wax and it just looks amazing. So now we are going to add the finishing product which is the ceramic coating. So this is a quick coating. So you just apply it and same goes with this. Since it's so cold in the garage and the car is pretty small we can lay it on the entire car. Go around the car and wait a couple of minutes then just gently wipe it off and we will have a stunning result
so that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoy the content from the last episode on this car when I picked it up I got an amazing response from you guys and that's so fun to see that makes me more excited to produce these videos and as I said I don't know the future of this car really what I should do to it if I should throw the money on a complete new paint job of course the original color I just love this color on this car but first I think we will add some touches so I'm thinking 21 inch wheels and coilovers no just kidding sorry guys but I'm thinking like white tire sides I think that look is just epic on these old classic cars so I'm thinking about getting those to like tie in the whole theme of the car otherwise the interior looks fresh and nice so we are not going to touch anything more over there just to tie up some cables and make it nice otherwise we have some fixes to do under the un engine bay um, but that will be for another video so thank you guys so much for watching please give the video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me and I will see you in the next one bye